Do I feel pressure? Is university worth it? I never realized what it's like to actually live on my own. It's good advice. One thing I wish I knew. My name is Claire. It is December 20th, 2020. The date is December 20th, 2021. I'm 18 years old. And I'm 19 years old. I just finished my first semester of my first year of university at the University of Alberta. I'm in my second year of university at the University of Alberta for the Bachelor of Science in Nursing. I definitely don't want to take for granted in-person classes for sure and also seeing like my friends and even my family in person. Yeah, I'd say in-person classes is a huge thing and like everything I said in that video, being able to see my family, like having the restrictions be lessened, I definitely don't want to take that for granted. And a thing that I don't want to take for granted this year is now that I've lived on my own and I've moved out, I'm not going to take my family for granted. Like I never realized what it's like to actually live on my own and actually miss my family a lot. So I'm not gonna take that for granted anymore. My favorite movie. My favorite movie. What, what to, to expect when you're expecting. expecting. I know, it's kind of a stupid movie. It's definitely been my favorite movie for quite some time, yeah. It's kind, it's a stupid movie, but it's, it's good, trust me. But it's still my all time favorite movie. Do I feel pressure? Yes. Yeah. Like I feel less stress than I did last year because I feel like I have a better grasp on things and I know I know what works for me, I know how to study, and I know how to do well in class now. My favorite food is probably right now, this is gonna be really boring, but it's probably pizza. My favorite food is still pizza. It's a classic. Pizza's definitely one of my favorites. I'm hoping next, sometime this next year, I'll be able to actually go to campus and do like in-person classes. I'm hoping that I won't have to take classes from my house anymore. So hopefully I'll be able to like move to Edmonton and actually like be on campus. That's definitely one of the biggest changes. Yeah, I actually, I actually did do that. I moved to Edmonton. I do in-person classes now. I've done my first clinical placement, so yes. I would say university is definitely worth it. For me, I know it's not worth it for some people and that's the choice that they make. But for me personally, I feel like I've changed a lot, probably for the better. My dream career is probably a labor and delivery nurse. I would like to work in a fertility clinic, like as a fertility nurse doing like IVF and stuff like that. I think that is definitely a dream job that I would love to have. One thing I wish I knew um, before like this year, is that your family is very important. Like you're gonna miss them a lot when you move out. Moving out is very lonely. So I'm not, I wish I knew to take for granted like the time I had with my family before I moved out. Don't procrastinate. Don't stress. Like I'm sure you are stressing because you know, life is stressful, but take some deep breaths. You're gonna be okay. That's what I wanna say to myself. Honestly, it's good advice. Don't procrastinate. Try not to freak out. One test mark doesn't really define your entire career. It's something I like to say my, to myself in here as well is probably very similar, honestly. It's just, you know, take some deep breaths, get on top of your work, stay on top of your work, but also find a work-life balance. Like, don't, don't just study all the time. You have to go out meet people, talk with people, it's really important. So yeah, I'd like to say that to myself in a year.